All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have a uh, uh, Muhammadan who uh, supposedly the Muslim they claim that he was one day a Christian and he became a Muslim and now he became Ustad. Ustad in, uh, in Arabic language, this is not something in Indonesian actually. It's mean a master, teacher, like high quality of knowledge. Uh, but obviously this guy, the same as the rest of them, they have no idea what they are talking about. Let us not to waste time and let us listen to his name is what? Uh, Ustaz Insan. Just to inform Ustaz Insan, you know, already we invited him to call us live. And right now I'm going in my uh, Skype. I will be live and nobody will be allowed to talk to me except him. Only him can call me. So Ustaz uh, Insan, you are more than welcome to call me, and I will be happy to have you. Just do it. I'm sure you will never do it, but, you know, we do our best. So what is Taz Insan, he said to me, and this is a message was sent to me, and actually he called me foolish, fool, I mean, a bunch of titles, I don't know if I deserve them or not, we will see. First of all, let me make it clear. I don't want to insult this man. He's an old man. He's in the age of my father. But I am still allowed to insult the stupidity. So I will not insult you as a man because of your age. I respect your age. Me as a Christian, I've been taught to respect all people. However, we don't respect stupidity. Let us see what Estaz Insan he said about Christian Prince and what he want to say to him. Uh, dear viewers, in the first episode, here are the answer from the question of our claims of Christian prince towards Islam, Quran, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We will provide the answer in English so that the world understand that the knowledge of Christian prince about <coughs> Islam and Christian is very shallow. Uh, we want it to be done fair, so we hope he will open his face marks and we have a face-to-face -face dialogue. All right. The first thing, Mr. Insan, welcome, and I'm happy that you are talking, trying to refute me, as you said and uh, how shallow is my knowledge we will see in a few minutes from now who is shallow first all about my face i don't know where you get my picture from because i look good there with the mask however my friend maybe you do not know that as long you will not accept somebody to speak to you unless he show his face well why you don't ask your god allah to show his face allah in the quran he said he will never speak to anyone unless he is from behind a hijab but hijab is for girls your God saying I will never ever speak to a person unless I am from behind a veil do you see it this is your Quran my friend you don't worship me to see my face you do not need to see my face but you need to see the face of your God, Allah. Yet, your prophet never saw him, never met him, never heard his voice. And you have no idea who is this Allah, who speak from behind the veil, as you see. So before you ask me about showing my veil, I mean myself, I am not behind the veil, you know, but I'm a very person. Let us say, if the Lord, the Messiah, he says, if you give with the right hand, don't let the left hand know. So for me, it's a blessing that people don't know who I am for I'm doing all this work for the sake of the Lord. So I receive no glory of my own. But maybe because you are handsome, you like to be in the camera. Not my case. But as you see, your God Allah himself, he never, ever, ever spoke except from behind a veil. 
And here we have a question mark about this veil, how it is, because you Muslim, you put it in the head, while Allah is speaking from behind it. So obviously, you Muslims, you have no idea what the veil is. The veil is a curtain, is not something you cover your head. Otherwise, you have to believe that Allah is wearing hijab in the top of his head, and he's a female. Now, let us go back to what you want to say to us. The first start wasn't good. Let us see, maybe a minute after, things will get better. Uh, the videos will be divided into uh, many episodes and titles and are presented using English and Indonesian. Subtitle is provided. Now, for the first episode, we begin about Trinity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear viewers, I don't know, you are too late to say Assalamu Alaikum. As I know, you remind me with this, with your Prophet Muhammad. When the angel came to him and he squeezed him three times, he did not say to him Assalamu Alaikum. And then after he squeezed him, he gave him Quran, yet he did not say to him Assalamu Alaikum. Then Muhammad, he went home, and yet the angel did not say to him Assalamu Alaikum. Muhammad was shivering, shaking, going crazy, and yet the angel did not say to him Assalamu Alaikum. Now, after three minutes from entering the room or the house, you say, Assalamu Alaikum, I think you have a problem here. And by the way, your Prophet said, never start anything without saying the word, Inshallah. For if you don't, your work is from the devil. You better learn your religion, my friend. Continue. Assalamu Alaikum. And by the way, the word Assalamu Alaikum is not Islamic. This is starting from the Jewish and from the Christian teaching. When the angels came to Mary, the angel, he said to her, Shalom to you, Mary. Assalamu alayki ya Maryam. Ya muntali aniamatan. Mubarakatun anti bin nisa So, you Muslims stole from us, Shalom to you. Even that is a theft. Continue, my friend. Christian prince doesn't understand the history of the of the origin of Trinity. It appeared in AD 325 when the conference of Nice from 20 May to 25th June AD 325. At the time, Bishop and leaders of the church gathered in order to talk about the status of Jesus led king by King Constantine. Signs at the time there was a group of Arius who adjured that Jesus wasn't God while a group of Athanasius adjured that Jesus was a part of Allah himself. All right. You see, you spoke about shallow knowledge. Now, you see, usually I use certain words, but because you are an old man, I'm not going to say it. Can you show us the reference where Arius, he said, Jesus is not God? So listen carefully. You are making many episodes. Either you show me the reference where Arius, he said that Jesus is not God, or you have to admit that you are a certified idiot who do not know what are you talking about. In fact, Arius, not only he said Jesus is God, he said he is the son of God too. So you are an idiot who do not know what Arius is talking about. If we go right now and see Arius' quotation, not my quotation, not my quotation, let us put it in the screen. This Islamic organization, they choose this Ustaz to refute the Christian prince. Are you okay? Are you sure? This is the quotation of Arius. If God and Christ were equal, then Christ should be called God brother, not God son. So you crazy man who do not know what are you talking about, Arius agreed that the Messiah is God's son. But he is not equal to a father. 
That's it. He never denied that Jesus is God. He said that there is a higher God and Messiah is another God. And nobody saw the Father, the, let us say, the Godhead. The only God mankind they knew is Jesus. So what are you talking about? You are not only ignorant, you eat too much beans. And the smell is all over. And not only that, Arius did not deny that there is a Father, there is a Son, and there is Holy Spirit. No! All what Arius said, that the Son has a beginning, which the Christians, which is us, we don't agree about. That's it. You are an ignorant who do not know what we are talking about. If we go right now and see all the study that is made about Iris, even by those who they are against Christianity, even your Islamic website. Actually, there is a there is a Muslim website I found. I can show what Arius said in their website. And you will see that this guy, he is so ignorant. He did not even do little search before he opened his mouth. If you read some of the quotation of Arius, you will see the following. If the father begot a son, he would has was begotten must have a beginning of existence. So what he is saying that the, the Messiah was, is a son of God, yes, but there is a beginning of existence. So he did not deny that the Messiah is son of God. You are really, really ignorant. And here the reference in the front of you on the screen. Arius said that the Messiah was created out of nothing because God wanted to create God so he will be the mediator between God the Father for he is nobody can see him and then he created God the Son who is the only God mankind knew and he is the one who created everything. So what you are talking about is very silly and very stupid. Now, if we go back to your statement, I don't know if I should more show more quotation, but I think eh, people get the point. I was astonished about your stupidity and your shadow of knowledge, not only about Christianity, but about Islam, and we will see that in a few seconds from now. Continue, please. Eventually, King Constantine decided that Athanasius was the right one. So, Jesus was appointed God by human as the result of the conference. Jesus, Jesus never knew if he was appointed God in AD 325 because he died in AD 29. What? 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 Brother, are you sure that you are a Muslim? This guy, he just admitted that Jesus died in the year 29 AD. Did I hear correctly? Hold on. I need, I need to play this again because uh, sometimes Shaitan, he pissed in my ears as the Prophet Muhammad said, peace upon him. Say again, please. I did not hear it. <laughs> you are hilarious, man. You know what? If I pay you, the Muslim now they will accuse me that you are a fake Muslim and I pay you money because always they do that. They say, and all those who leave Islam, but they talk to me, 
I bring them to the show or the, the program and they, they are paid by me. I think you are one of them. You just admit it and listen carefully what this guy he said. You cannot hear him? Guys, you cannot hear him? Really, you cannot hear him? Hold on. So all this talk now, you guys, you heard nothing? How come? Okay, hold on. I apologize. I did not see that. Okay, let us go switch to the normal microphone then. All right, there, guys. Then we have to go from the beginning. Why nobody told me from the beginning? Oh boy. We will go from zero. You hear him or no? Low voice? You hear him, but it was low voice? Okay, tell me now, do you hear? I'm going to play the video. Do you hear cor correctly? Please let me know. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me put the, the headset. Because I took the connection. I have a setup here. All right, let us see now if it's going to work. Uh, dear viewers, in the first episode, here are the answer from the question of our claims of Christian prince towards Islam, Quran, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. All right, so did you hear him in the beginning when he was talking, I was playing his video, you were hearing it or not? Because you guys are making me confused now. Shall we go from the beginning again or what? Did you hear it from the beginning? Did you hear the guy from the beginning? Yeah, so why are you complaining? I mean, why, why are you people complain we don't hear him? You made us go all the way back to zero now. Now yes, before now? I'm saying from the beginning, when we start live on air, did you hear the guy speaking? Yes or no? The beginning is okay. Uh, look like uh, somebody was uh, having a problem from his side. Anyway, let us see from the beginning, no problem. We will provide the answer in English. Hmm. So that the world understand that the knowledge of Christian prince about Islam and Christian is very shallow. Uh, we want it to be done fair, so we hope he will open his face marks and we have a face-to-face -face dialogue. You know, just to let you know about me, I do shoulder to shoulder. And about my face, uh, I don't show my face because the last time I show my face, uh, you know, there's uh, like a, a big disaster happen. I'm not handsome like you, my friend. And I mentioned before that your God, Allah himself, he never showed his face. So maybe me and Allah, we have a lot of common. Allah, he said in chapter 42, verse number 51, it is not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him except by inspiration or from behind a veil. Can you let me know, please, why Allah is wearing a veil? Maybe this is additional proof that your God Allah is a female because as I, as I understand that Muslims don't wear veil unless they are females. Yet your God Allah is in a veil. Continue please. And I do not know why Muslims all of them they want to see my face. Are you interested in my face or in my teaching? Which one is hurting you now? Why you are making videos about Christian prince to refute the Christian prince if you never saw my face? It obviously is not really important. Otherwise, you will not be there just speaking to answer me, you know, and calling me all those nice names. Hmm. Uh, the videos will be divided into uh, many episodes and titles and are presented using English and Indonesian, subtitle is provided. 
Now, for the first episode, we begin about Trinity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear viewers, Christian prince doesn't understand the history of the of the origin of Trinity. It appear in AD 325 when the conference of Nice from 20th May to 25th June AD 325. At the time, bishop and leaders of the church gathered in order to talk about the status of Jesus led king by King Constantine. Signs at the time there was a group of Arius who adjured that Jesus wasn't God while a group of Athanasius adjured that Jesus was a part of our this is a very false claim, as we explained. Arius movement had nothing to do with believing Jesus is not God. This guy is an ignorant. He does not know what he's talking about. Actually, it's the opposite. Arius agreed that he is God. He is the Son of God. All what Arius said, that Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, was created in a certain point. Because God wanted to have a God, or God, who present him to the mankind as a mediator between God the head and the man so God the Son is Jesus this is what Arya said so this idiot he do not know he said that Arya said that Jesus is not God if we ask him can you show us one reference from Arya's statement that he said that Jesus is not God he will fail why because he is an ignorant man all of you can go right now and you can search what are you said? You do not don't take my word for granted. Don't take his word for granted. Go and search right now in Google and you will find that this guy is lying. Like he's a prophet. And we showed you previously the quotation from Arius himself, confirming that he believed that Jesus is the Son of God, which means he is God, but he is not equal to the father if god and christ were equal then christ should not should be called god brother not god son this is arius himself quotation why you are lying this is another quotation from arius if the father begotten the son that he was begotten had beginning of existence so he is agreeing that Jesus is begotten son, but he is begotten son with a point of existence. And from this evident that there is, was a time when the son was not. It is therefore necessarily follows, uh, follows that he had his substance from nothing. Not only that, actually, Arius agree that Jesus the Christ is the one who created everything. He is the creator of the earth and the heaven, of the human being, of Adam and Eve, of the mountains, of the water, of the tree. He agree with that. So when this man, he says something to you, obviously he is either an ignorant or he is a liar. Choose one, Muslims. Which one? Which one we should choose? I will leave that for you. Oh yes, actually, he used the Bible which he agreed with that the Messiah was exist before ages. All what he is saying that those ages are claiming that ages here mean before the existence of anything. So the Messiah was existed exist from ancient time before time is exist. But still there's a point of existence. And this is what the Christians don't agree with. So you are an ignorant man who open his mouth, who do not know. I mean, before you go and answer a Christian prince, shouldn't you go? Maybe he'd read an article written by some Abdul online. 
Is that where you get your knowledge from? Abdul online knowledge? Eh, let the Abdul help you. Continue. Allah himself. Eventually, King Constantine decided that Athanasius was the right one. So, Jesus was appointed God by human as the result of the conference. Jesus, Jesus never knew if he was appointed God in AD 325 because he died in AD 29. I want the Muslim to focus with me here. This guy, he confirmed that Jesus, he died in AD 29, and he said, not me, he never knew that he'd been appointed as God, for he died in AD 29. And he became God, according to this man, 300 years after. That means Jesus is not alive. And this is totally destroyed the lives of Muhammad. Because Muhammad, he said, not me. Muhammad, he said, that the Messiah is in heaven and nobody crucified him. وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ And the funny you are talking about my ignorance in my belief and your belief. But yet you just admitted that Muhammad is a false prophet and his teaching in the Quran in chapter 4 verse number 157 where he says they killed him not is absolutely a fraud. And if you want to say to me, I was saying according to Christianity, no you cannot say that because you said. Jesus never knew. So now we are talking about Jesus not knowing what's happening in this earth. For he died in the year 29 AD. So you cannot say, oh, I was saying that according to Christianity, Jesus died. No, for you confirmed your explanation by saying that he never knew for this has happened 300 years after what he died in the year 29. So Jesus cannot be alive then because this is how you confirm he never knew. For if Jesus is alive, then he will knew in the year 300 he's alive. So you are ignorant about your religion, confirming that the Quran is a fraud and Muhammad is a liar and you are of just a follow. We follow blindly without knowing even what is there. I don't think even you opened the Quran ever, did you? Let us continue with this. And, and by the way, I, I love it when those Muslims from Indonesia, they call themselves Ustad. They love titles. I mean, their prophet cannot call him without saying, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah pray on him and salute him. Allah pray on Muhammad. Why? Who is the God? I heard that somebody pray to God. I heard that people pray to the God. Ask God, but Allah, he pray on Muhammad. Allah pray to who? And this is the same, Ustad. Ustad what? You don't even know how to quote your Quran. You do not know our Bible and you are an idiot. Continue. It's almost 300 years after his death. As long as he alive, Jesus never claim that he was God. Uh -huh. Are you sure, brother? Jesus never claimed that he is God? Hmm. That's embarrassing. Hmm. You know what? I saw your video already. I'm going to use verses you showed us in the screen, the chapter you choose for us, not the chapters I choose. And from the chapters you choose, you idiot, we will show you that Jesus says he is God. Remember, Muslims, this guy is going to quote for us now the Bible to prove his point. But by quoting those chapters, he got himself busted. Listen carefully. He even testified that God or Allah is one. He himself claimed that he was just sent by God. In the Gospel of John chapter... Hold on, hold on. 
Jesus, he confirmed that God is one. I mean, you are a certified idiot again. Because all the Bible teach that God is one. Not only the one, you are quoting for me that Jesus, the Trinity, came to existence in the meeting of Nikia. But this is the meeting of Nikia agreement. The first line you will read there, you idiot, it says that we believe, I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. Do you see it? You, you told your followers that the meeting of Nietzsche is to confirm, to, conf to, 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 to confirm that there's a trinity. But as you see, this is the final agreement of this council. What is the final agreement said? We believe in one God. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty. The maker of the heaven and the earth. All of things visible and invisible. So you lied about Nikki. You're saying that he, there we created a trinity. Where do you see the trinity? Do you see the word trinity in the whole council? Here we go. This, this, the whole, this is the whole agreement. I believe in one Lord. Jesus the Christ. The only begotten Son of God. They did not even mention the word Trinity. Why they did not mention the word Trinity? Because the whole meeting was not about the Trinity. The whole meeting is about if Jesus is exist before the time, not as this man he said, because he said there's a point of existence. The whole meeting is not about the Trinity. The whole meeting is about the existence of the Messiah and the point of existence as this man he lie or he have his own understanding of the Bible. So God from God, light from light, true God from true God. This is God. God is one. Begotten, not meat, as this guy he's saying he was meat. So you see here the, the, the final answer is to answer this man. This man agree that there is a Son of God, agree there is Holy Spirit, agree there is Father, and he never said they don't exist. He have his own definition for the Holy Spirit. He says the Holy Spirit is the power of God, is exists in many ways, which is not what the, what the Bible teach. He believed that Jesus is Son of God, but he's created, and he was not exist in a certain point. He believed that God the Son is not equal to the Father. So the whole council was to meet and to refute this man. And anything you said is a false. Have nothing to do with the topic. Guys, is the voice clear? Because I see still people complain. I'm not sure why. Is the voice clear or not? Is the voice of the man is it clear or not when we play the video is his voice clear I think people they are doing this on purpose so this just want to disturb us or maybe they have a delay this is what happened when you have somebody he have no knowledge in his religion and he have no knowledge in our belief tell us more mr. Ustad one he himself claimed that he was just sent by God. In the Gospel of John, chapter number uh, 17, Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Once more, an eternal life means to know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, whom you sent. All right. Muslims be my witness. Your Ustaz Abdul, he chose John 17. Do this Abdul present any kind of honesty? Always I ask myself a very simple question. Why he quote John 17? 
what about uh, I mean John 17 and he start with with certain verse verse number three if we go right now to John 17 I will put it in the screen in a second. And you can choose any translation you wish, doesn't matter really. Like Muslims, Muslim, they say to you, you have many versions of the Bible, those are translation. That's the same as you do. You have Yusuf Ali, etc. This is what version me. Jesus spoke those words, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father. The hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you. You said that Jesus never claimed to be God. Have you ever heard of somebody asking God to glorify him? So look at this false teacher. He go and he pick up for us verse number three skipping verse number one number two and then he jumped to number three because this is the one he like this is the one we want we will not show you that Jesus he confirmed number one that he is the son of God he will not show you that God the father glorify the son and what will happen when God the father glorify the son so also your son, the son will glorify you. As what? As you have given him the authority over the flesh. There is no prophet have authority over flesh. What authority you are talking about? That he should give, give eternal life to as many as you give him. So Jesus, before you go and you jump to verse number three, before he said that you, you are the only true God, he confirmed that he is God, and God the Father glorify, glorify him, and he have the authority of God over the flesh. And what kind of authority is that? Is judgment day. And this is what we will see in the whole Bible. It's about Jesus the Christ coming back and judging all mankind. Actually, even in your hadith, it says that Muhammad said, that the Messiah will come as a Hakaman Muqsitan. Hakaman Muqsitan. What does that mean? An absolute, just judge. But maybe you are ignorant, you do not know what does that mean. Let us teach you. <clears throat> maybe you like Sahih al-Bukhari more than Sahih Muslim this is the Messiah he is coming down and he will kill the pig and he will destroy the cross I mean the Messiah became a cowboy and he is going to have a gun in his hand and the pig will have a gun in his hand and the Messiah will say to the pig are you Mr. Pig? the, the, the pig he say yes then Christ will shoot him this is how Sidi Muhammad is. But look what he said. He will be a just and ruler. Who can be just? One of the names of the God of Islam is Al-Adil, which means the just. How Jesus can be just? How a man can be just? He will rule the earth, not as a ruler only, as a just. You are a prophet himself, he was not just. If we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying. Any one of you, I beat him. It is seen in the the hadith. Here we go. 
Your prophet confirmed that he is not just. O oh Allah, I am a human being, and of for any person among Muslims upon whom I hurl multiplication or invoke curse or give him whipping, make it source of purity and mercy. Muhammad is unjust. He get angry and he start cursing people, beating people. And he's saying, anyone I do that to him. And this is the reason he is unjust. So my friend, you are pure ignorant. If we go back to the chapter of John, the one you choose, Why you quote for us only verse number three and you stop? Isn't it will be nicer so people can understand better? So look what it says. You are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given to me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I, ha I had with you before the world was. Abdul, are you deaf? The Messiah, and this is an answer for somebody like Arius who said that the Messiah was created later. Jesus, he just confirmed that his existence with the Father before the word was, I was with you with the glory. And notice Muslims and Christians, I did not even quote one verse, I mean, in chapter, is not, he did not mention. This is the chapter he mentioned. This is the chapter he mentioned. We did not just go like we can find one thousand verses in the same. You know, this is not. This is the book of John. The, the the first verse in the book of John. It says what? Why you call John chapter seventeen, but you don't call John uh, uh, number one? If we go to John number one, what it says? It says clearly that Jesus is God right away from the beginning, from the first line. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was. In the beginning with God, all things was made by him, him who, Jesus, light shine in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Talking about who? Talking about Christ. There was a man sent from God. You, you know, you quote from me, you say it says there. Then it, you see it, it says man, but the sea was with this man. This is John. And then if we go to see who is the one who became a flesh. He just told you that the word became, the word is God, the word is God. In the beginning there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now who is that word? This is the book of John you are quoting us for us, for us from. That word is the Messiah himself. And the word became a flesh, and they were it among us, and we behold his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You see how you lie and you say to the Muslims, Jesus never said his God. So we showed you what Jesus is saying. We showed you what John mentioned in the beginning of the which means the whole book of John is just to tell us about Jesus God. So why you are quoting for me, John, if you believe that John is telling the truth about who is Jesus? No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten Son. Obviously, he said nobody saw the Father, but the Messiah here, the Bible confirmed that he saw that, you know. And actually, the Messiah said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. And yet, the idiot, he says to us, where well, Jesus says he is God. 
So when you quote for us from John, my friend, at least try to quote for us verses you can back up with. Don't quote for me a verse and try to play with it. It says, it says that he is uh, he was sent by God, the only true God. Yes, Christianity teach all of it that is only one true God. Only one. We don't believe in three. We don't believe in four. We don't believe in five. And to know Jesus Christ, whom you send. And in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verses number 28 and 29, a teacher of the law was there who heard the discussion. He saw that Jesus had given uh, the Sadducees a good answer. So he came to him with a question, which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus replied, the most important one is this. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is only Lord. It proved that Jesus taught unity of God. You idiot, sure you need to talk because you are an idiot. The Trinity, when this, when the Trinity says your God is Echad, the word is Echad. Do you know what Echad mean? It doesn't say the word one as it is in English only. It is says Echad. Echad is a word mean unity, and you just said that yourself. Did I hear you say in unity? Did he say unity, or I get it wrong? It proved that Jesus taught unity of God. You see how stupid you are? You just said unity. When you say the word unity, it's mean you are unifying something. There is something unified. So the oneness of God is about unity, as you said. The Bible says that the man he leave his parents and he will get married and he will become a hard with the woman what does that mean him and his wife they became one this is what a hard mean and this is what you are quoting You are quoting for us a word mean unity. But because you are ignorant, you do not know, so you open your mouth without knowledge. Echad. O oh, here, O oh, Israel, Yahweh our, is our God. Yahweh is one. What one is Echad? Do you see it? And you will find the same word used in Genesis 2.24. The two shall become one. Echad. To who? The man and the, the, the wife and the husband. So here the one is a unity. And you just admit it. You just confirm that the Messiah told us the truth. That there is him is the son. That's why he called himself the son. You, can you explain to your followers why he say he is a son? As long as you are quoting for us from the Bible, how many times Jesus said he is a son? So when a fool he quote for us the Bible, he got himself busted. Look, what happened? Which means God is one. I mean to that, we believe in God is one. Muslim, did you hear him saying not two, not three? Did you hear this idiot saying that God is one, not two, not three? Who in the world who taught you that the Trinity means that there's three gods? Even your God Allah, Aka Muhammad, he never said that the Christian believe in that. You are an official idiot. You just said that the Christian believe in three gods. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. 
<laughs> and you are an Ustaz. If you are an Ustaz, the cat outside my house is a professor. All right. This is a chapter four, verse number one seventy one. This is your Quran. Do your Quran teach that the Christian believe in three gods? No. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion. No say Allah ought but the truth, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah, and his word bestowed on Mary, and his spirit proceeding from him. So believe in Allah, and his messenger say not, Trinity. But here, The verse alone is not enough to explain to us the stupidity of the Quran because we need to go to different verse and we will see the following just for a laugh You see the translation actually I'm trying to get the different translation but anyway let us see you know because in Arabic it says don't say three and they are uh, one don't say three say not three desist do you see it desist What does this mean? If you don't understand, let us change the translation. <clears throat> Sees, which means the three, because Allah is saying, order, don't say that, right? No problem. But actually, the Quran just confirmed that the Trinity exists. But he have wrong understanding of it. He just confirmed that Jesus the Christ is a three and one at the same time. Read carefully. The Messiah Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, between two brackets, he was no more than messenger, but this is not what the Quran is saying. This is why it's between two brackets. He was a messenger. Okay, number one, he is a messenger. Number two, he is the word of God. Number two, he is a spirit proceeding from him that is a three and one you silly god he just said that it is the messiah or he is the messiah who is the word of god he is a messenger of god as a man yet he is a spirit proceeding from god three and one and the same verse says say not trinity but in the same verse says say trinity for the Messiah is a three yet but one. And this has shown us that the one who wrote the Quran is very shallow in his intelligence. Because how you are making verse to confirm that there's no Trinity, and then you confirm to us that the Messiah, especially, he is Trinity by himself, which is not what we Christians believe. But the verse saying that the Messiah is a three and one. And how the Messiah is the Word of God if the Word of God never be created? And how the Messiah is a spirit proceeding from Him if He is created? And how the man can be Word of God? Is Muhammad the Word of God? No. The Muslim usually, they say to you regarding this and answer Muhammad, he gave you the Christian at that time. He said to them, the similarity between Jesus and uh, 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 Adam that Allah he said be and it was but this is very stupid because neither Jesus 
Neither Adam in the Quran was created by CMB and he was. Chapter 3, verse 1, chapter uh, 3, verse 159. Verily, the likeness of Isa, Jesus, before Allah, is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, and then he said, Be, and he was. But is that how Allah created Adam? Absolutely false. Allah never said to Adam, Be, and he was. Actually, it took him a lot of time to the point Adam he sneezed and he asked Allah to, to finish him before the sunset. This is why the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا وَكَانَ what? وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا which mean, What does that mean? Chapter 17, verse number 11, you can go and read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir or any interpretation. You will see that Adam, he wanted Allah to finish him before the sun set. And Adam was created from mud. And then Allah, he breathed into him after he fashioned him from mud. Chapter 15, verse number 28 says, and remember when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a man, his name is Adam, from fashion him, as you see in verse number 29. So when I have fashioned him completely, and, they, and then I breathe into him, where is B and he was? Do you see the word B and he was? When he breathed to him, Adam, he got his life. So the Quran saying that Adam, the same as Jesus, Allah said to them, be and he was, that is a stupid lie. For Allah, he sent his spirit and breathed into Mary. He told Mary the news. And then, and then we breathe into her vagina, which is a very filthy word, Muhammad, Allah saying. We breathe into her vagina. Did Allah say to Jesus, be and he was? So why is he breathing? If he is if, if he is there already, <laughs> huh? Why why he is breathing? If he is he's, he just said be and he was. So what is breathing about? Chapter twenty one verse number ninety one and mention the same in many other verses. So Quran is a very silly shallow book. And that explain why we have shallow knowledge of Muslims, confusion. They do not even know their Quran, what it teach. To the point they think that we Christian believe that there's three gods. When even the Quran confirmed that we don't believe in that. Actually, just to confirm more that the Quran says it clearly that the Christians believe that Jesus is Allah. Just to show you how stupid this idiot is. I cannot believe it that even those the organization bringing him to answer me. To answer me, me, you idiot. This is the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 17, saying, Surely in this belief, those who say that Allah is the Messiah. So where you got that we Christian believe in three God? If you got in the Quran saying that the Christian believe that there's only one God and he is the Messiah and he is Allah according to the Quran. And the funny, this guy, he said, he will make more episode. Please make more episode. We need comedy. And I challenge you in the coming episode to show us one Christian believe in three gods. You idiot.
And now look what you confirmed. And uh, I mean, I, I played from his video, what, three minutes? Five minutes only. Five minutes, he, this guy, he destroyed Islam. Muhammad became pieces. In five minutes. So if, what if he talked for five hours? No, no, we are not forgetting the topic. This is the topic. The topic about Trinity. We just showed him that he's an idiot. He just said that the, uh, we Christian believe in three gods. But there's no Christian believe in three gods. Not a single verse in the Bible say that we believe in three gods. They are lying. They are liars. They are a fraud. They, 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 the same that, as their prophet. Continue, please. One. Not two or three. See? So, did you hear what he said? Not two or three. Do you Christian believe in two God, three God? No, we don't. Hearing the testimony of Jesus, one of the scribes said in the verse of Satit, Well done, teacher. It is true, as you say, that uh, only the Lord is God, and there is no other God beside Him. Hmm. Or in okay, hold on, hold on. So now if we go to Mark 12, I want all the Muslims who are listening. If we go to Mark 12, are your Muslims going to accept Mark 12? Or you will accept only that verse? See, he is quoting for us a verse. Why is not quoting, showing us like read, at least like read a few verses before, a few verses after. Why you quote only a verse? What verse he quote for us? Read carefully. Mark 32. So he skipped 31 verses and that is the one he like. The rest eh, is not important. What about after 32? Like, what's wrong with 34? What about 35? What about 36? No, we cannot show it to you because they will confirm that Jesus is God. Look what this liar he did. He stopped here. 32. Huh? 32. I like only 32. This is Mark. Huh? So we will quote for you 32. And we will not quote the rest. What Jesus said? And as Jesus taught in the temple, he said, how can scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself in the Holy Spirit declared that the Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemy under your feet. David himself called him Lord. Him who? The Messiah. Remember, he's talking about the Messiah. How can the scribes say that the Christ is the son of David? So, this coward he called for you, Mark 12, 32. But he will not read for you 35, 34, 35, 36, 37. For it confirmed that Jesus saying clearly he is God. The Lord say to my Lord. David saying that the Lord say to my Lord. Who, who Do we have two Lords? Do we have two Gods? It's about the Trinity. The Lord here is God the Father. And God the Son, God the Father said to God the Son, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemy under your feet. And the Messiah said, continue saying, 
David himself called him Lord, called him God. So how he is his son. Remember that David is the king of the Jews. If the Muslim, they want to say, well, the Messiah is the Lord of David in a meaning of like he is a master. That cannot make sense because David first is a prophet, even according to Islam. Secondly, he's a king. He is one of the greatest kings in the history of the Jews. So there is no way for David to call Christ Lord or God unless he believe in him as God. How he can be his Lord? <laughs> and the same statement appear in other verses in the Bible where Jesus said to them, well, how you how you believe that I am, you know, how you, how you call me, how, how you how you think I am the son of David, if David, he called me God. Amazingly, how they misquote and not only misquote, they take a verse because they have no dignity. I can do the same for you now. I can go say, hey, okay, let me show you something in the Quran just to show you how silly you are. The Quran in one verse, Allah praising, drinking. Drinking what? Alcohol. Saying it is great. Actually, he's saying it's a sign from Allah. So being a drunk is a sign from Allah. Shall I take this verse only alone and I say Islam teach that you can drink? You will say no, this is not true. This is later abrogated. Right? You come with the garbage of abrogation. But here, even if you say abrogated, this is stupid because Allah confirmed that drunk, being a drunk is Hassan. From the fruit of the palm, you make what? You make drinking will make you drunk, and this is a sign from Allah. Allah claim that whiskey black label is one of his miracles. And when you drink it, <laughs> thanks to Allah, it's one of his miracles. And not only that, he said that from that alcohol there's a goodly provision. But because your God Allah is a stupid God, Muhammad he got sick, he can't drink no more, and Muslim they were drunk in the mosque. So later he changed his mind after he got his poison and he said, No, we will forbid the drinking. It's from Shaitan. So how here it was from God and goodly provision, and it's a sign from Allah, and later Muhammad he said, It is from Shaitan. Hmm? Stupidity. Chapter 5, verse number 90, saying that alcohol is from shaitan. But we just showed you the other verse saying that alcohol is from Allah. It's a miracle of Allah. Continue, Abdul, so we can love more. I mean, what I will do with your uh, eight-minute videos? I will make two hours video about it. Only the Lord is God, and there is no other God beside. Him. Exactly, there is no other God. Or in Arabic, La ilaha illallah. In Arabic, La ilaha illallah. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. You see, you Muslims. You always speak that you believe in one God, but the fact you believe in Tawheed, and Tawheed is unification. The word Tawheed in Arabic is unification. As an example, we say, United State of America. This is what you believe. United State of Allah. Tawheed does not mean oneness. Tawheed means unification. And let us prove that. If we go in the Quran, guys, is the video became so long? We have to spank to the end what I can do. I mean, I cannot resist. Sorry, hello. Sorry, 
uh, what I can do. Tawheed, huh? You believe in Tawheed? If we go to chapter 21, verse number 17, Allah claiming, and I want you to read carefully with me, and this is your Muslim translation. This is a translation of who? Muslim translation. Who will agree with this translation? My name is Dr. Zakir Naik, and I agree and approve the translation. So here we go, Zakir Naik, he approve it. It says, had we intend to take a pastime, i.e., a wife or a son, etc., etc., what is that, etc., mean cousin, let it go. We could surely have taken it from us. Allah will take a wife from us. Allah will take his son or his wife from us. So you must when you lie to us, you say Allah is one, and then Allah is going to have a wife from us. Now you say to me, Well, he says if he's going to do that, I don't care. He just confirmed that there is us. And you cannot say here us mean like Allah he speaks like King of Jordan because he's a fraud us you know our majesty i mean this is stupid because here is talking about taking a partner and what is the partner a wife and where he will get his wife allah he have his own and then he say if he want to take a wife he will take it from us that's mean either you agree that allah is going to have to marry himself and he will do boom boom to himself which is very funny or you agree that the wife is different person if we go to the interpretation so you don't say Christian Prince is making his own chapter 21 verse number 17 this idiot he did not know what he did he opened the gate the, the, the doors of hell on him he have no idea what he's talking about this is your God, Allah saying. Had we desire to find some, who's talking by the way? This is Tafsir al Jalalain, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And the King of Jordan, he owned the website. It says here that the Royal of Ahl al Bayt Institute Islamic Thought Amman Jordan. And who is the scholar? Al Jalalain. Big fat scholar. Had we desire to find some diver diversion that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child, we would found it with ourselves. With who? Ourself. Oh, let me let me make it bigger. This guy he is an old person, he might not see it. A brother, I want you to see it, a brother. A brother, I want you to frame it and print it in your room. Allah will find a wife, a partner from ourself. How that can be? I thought there's only one Allah. Imagine I say that I am a Christian prince and there's only me. And then I say I will find a partner with me, from me. So either you have to agree that your God Allah is crazy which is very possible or you have to agree that your prophet is a crazy which is very possible and actually we, prove, we can prove easy that he's a crazy this guy who was taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and all kind of garbage so how he can be a prophet of God it's impossible so here you notice that when a Muslim they speak about the oneness of God they are contradicting their own teaching they don't talk about oneness they call tawheed tawheed mean unification not one person you don't use the word tawheed speaking about one person you have to be many person this is what tawheed mean and actually if we ask the muslim where we can find the word tawheed in the quran 
they will say we cannot find it. And they will say to you, where we can find the word Trinity in the Bible? We will say we cannot find really the word Trinity in the Bible. So how do we know about Trinity? Simply, from the book of Genesis, verse number 1, read verse number 1, 2, 3. In the beginning it was, you know, God, he created the, the whole universe, and his spirit was above the water. That's it, from the beginning, his spirit. And if you want to say to me, where God became a man, in the Old Testament, because they will say to you, you know where in the Old Testament that God is a man? We challenge you to show us. This is what they say to you. Big mouth. No knowledge. The second they speak, they do poo poo. If we go to John chapter 8, you will see that the Messiah, he spoke about himself. God the man, how he come to Abraham. Look what the Messiah he said to them. The Jews answered, they were saying to him, are we not say, saying correctly that you are Samaritan? And they have a demon on you because they are he is saying crazy stuff for them he is saying he's God Yeshua said to them a demon is not in me but I honor my father and you dishonor me but I am not seeking my glory there is one who seek and judges themselves a, a, a timeless truth I speak to you Whoever keep my words, keep what? what? My words. The word of Jesus. You see, you don't keep, your prophet cannot promise you life. And he cannot claim that this is his words. Muhammad, he cannot claim that the Quran is his words. Jesus saying clearly that all the teaching I'm giving you, my words. The one who keep my word shall never see death. The Messiah giving you promise of eternal life if you follow his words. For he had the authority as we showed you from before. The Jews were saying to him, Now we know you have a demon. Is in you. Abraham is dead. And the prophet, and you are saying, Whoever keeps my words shall never taste death. They are saying to him, Prophets, they are dead. Even Abraham. Our great grandfather is dead. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died and the prophet who have died? Who are you making yourself? Yeshua said to them, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorify me. Remember, the Muslim they say, okay, the Father is God, no problem. God, he glorified the Messiah. God, don't glorify any man. What? We glorify God. He of whom you say, he is our God. He's quoting them. Oh, Israel, your God is one. And you do not know him, but I know him. And if I had said that I did not know him, I myself have never been a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his words. Abraham, your father, desired to see my day, and saw it and rejoiced. Abraham, he saw his day. How is that? Look what the Jews, they said. You are not even yet 50 years old. And you have seen Abraham, Yeshua said to them, Timeless truth I speak to you, before Abraham would exist. I am the living God. A Muslim might say to you in different translation, it says only I am. That will not change anything, because God, he presents himself to Moses as I am. Each time Jesus says, I am, I am he, I am, I am the truth, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, which all is a name of God, a attribute of God. And Allah actually, the God of Islam, he took his names from Christ. The names of Allah, the truth, Jesus said, I am the truth. The life, I am the life. I am the resurrection. 
I am the beginning, I am the end, I am the light. All those Muhammad, he stole them from Jesus, he gave them to his God. And you cannot say that Jesus took them from Muhammad because Jesus was exists not only before Muhammad, but before Abraham, as you see. So they said to him, he said to them, I am the living God. I am. As exactly it says in the book of Exodus, when God, he appeared to Moses. Moses said to him, okay, I will go and uh, I will tell the people about you, but who are you? What I will tell them? He said, tell him, tell them, I am that I am. I am sent you. So the Muslim they said to you, where well, Jesus says, I'm God. Well, as you see, this is how God in the Bible, he identify himself for no name can describe him. No name can explain him. So I am the one who exists. I am who I am. So, because they, because they are ignorant, they do not know that each time Jesus is saying, I am, and here, remember, it's not about I am, like I am going to the uh, Starbucks, I am going, when I say I am, and I add to it something have to do only with God, that means I am saying clearly, I am God, I am the light, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the truth, I am the resurrection, he is not saying I am going to home, I am going to build, I am like normal things. He is adding after I am, which is exactly what God he said, God the Father said to Moses. He is saying I am the light. There's no prophet, he is the light. There's no prophet, he is the truth. Prophet, he tell the truth, but he is not the truth. So their ignorance is beyond imagination. Explanation of a stupidity cannot be explained sometimes. It's a stupidity, what we can say. Christian Prince, please follow what Jesus said. Exactly. He said Allah is the only one and God is one. Wait, 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 wait. Where is Jesus? He said Allah. I mean, what is this guy? First of all, your God, Allah, his name is not Allah, it is La. There's an idiot in the text once, he said, Christian prince is wrong. La is the Egyptian God, have nothing to do with the Arab God. That because you are a certified idiot. La, my friend, have nothing to do with the Arab, and I never said he's an Arab God. La is a name starting from the Saudi and not even the Egyptian. Because the Egyptian themselves, they follow the Saudi and your idiot. This is why. The Sabian in their books, they curse the God of the Jews. They believe his shaitan. Why? Because the God of the Jews, he destroyed Pharaoh, who was a Sabian. And by the way, as long as we are talking about the Sabian, this is here will show that Muhammad is a fraud. Because in the Quran, he said that the Sabians will go to heaven. How the ones worship the moon God and the stars will go to heaven? Any wisdom can tell me? Read carefully. Chapter 2, verse number 62. Verily those who believe, and those who are Jews and the Christians, and the Sabian, who never believe in Allah and the last day, and the righteous will go to heaven. Everybody will go to heaven. Christians will go to heaven. Sabian will go to heaven. Jews will go to heaven. But how does Christian will go to heaven if they are worshiping three gods, as this idiot he said, which absolutely false? And what make it more horrible? How in the world the Sabians who believe in stars will go to heaven? And this is why you see in the Hadith, the Arab was calling Muhammad a Sabi, for he in the beginning he tried to be a Sabian. Hmm? Hmm? 
they thought from the beginning because read carefully this is a hadith this is Sahih Bukhari they cannot say it's a lie so they were going in a, in a trip with Muhammad and then they were looking for water then I, I, the Prophet of Allah Messiah of Allah stopped and asked for some water to perform a pollution so he performed a pollution and called for prayer blah 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 okay and then so I mean let's see uh, let's see what is the hadith I mean the part uh, here we go They asked the women, they are walking, looking for women. So they went in search for water and met a woman who was sitting on her camel between two bags of water. And they asked, where can we find water? She replied, I was there. This hour, yesterday, and my people are behind me. They, all, they requested her to accompany them. She asked, where? They said, to the messenger of Allah. She said, listen carefully, she said, do you mean the man who is called Sabi? And between two brackets, they say new religion. Sabi is not a new religion. Here we go, the Quran is saying Sabi. Huh? What new religion? Since when they are new religion? Since when they are new religion? This is one of the oldest religion in the Middle East. And if you ask me for reference for this hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 344, book number 7, hadith number 11, the print in the reference, as you see. I, you know, I wasn't planning to make the video long, really, but what we can do, I mean, the spanking have to continue. Go ahead, brother. Those who say... God is Allah and the only one are Muslims, not you. Hold on. Those who say God is Allah and only one are Muslim, not you. We just showed it is not true in chapter 21. And secondly, you don't say he is one, you say Tawheed, which means he is unity and you are the one who chose the word. Number three, you are the one who quote for me, Jesus saying that your God is one, so you are lying because the Bible confirmed and from your screen that Jesus and the Bible teach that God is one. So you are a liar and a fraud. No Christian believe that God is not one. Shame on you. Because of that, you are not the followers of Jesus, but hold on I want to follow Jesus just to show you how we're stupid by saying that because how do you know what Jesus taught I just showed you a verse saying that the Christians and the Jews and the Sabi and they will go to heaven so if we are not following Jesus how we will go to heaven according to what Do you see the stupidity? How your God Allah, Aka Muhammad, He confirmed. You see, He called us Christians. Do you know what that means? I mean, do you see how stupid they are? You just called us Christians. What does that mean? You see, if you call the Muhammadan, Muhammadan, they will get upset. They say, We are Muslim, not Muhammadan. Okay? So why you call us Christians? That's me, we are following Christ. That's mean our God is Christ. So how the Christian they will go to heaven? How the Jews will go to heaven? Isn't it the Quran says that the Jews they worship and a man his name is Uzair? How the Jews worship Uzair? Chapter 9 verse number 30 and yet you promised them in the other chapter that they will go to heaven. And the funny you will see the dad saying, you will not find one single verse in the Bible, in the Old Testament, a preaching that God has a son. Thank you very much. You just got your prophet busted. Your prophet is a liar. I agree. No son, according to the Old Testament, his name is Hosea. 
But in the Old Testament, yes, it says God has a son, but not Uzziah. Who's Uzziah? Who, who's Uzziah? So look what the what the what the, what the Quran confirmed. The Quran confirmed that the Jews worship Son of God, and the Christian worship the Son of God. The Jewish Son of God, his name is Uzziah. The Christian Son of God, his name is the Messiah. And both of them, they are the Son of Allah, which is very stupid because we don't believe in Allah anyway. And it says Allah, He caused them. And now here I have to stop. I finished spanking this man, but we will continue. Because here, if we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying, I, I meant to Biki uh, Wabim and Arsalaki. What does that mean? Remember, he said, We are not following Jesus. And the same, they saw. They say we did not, we did not uh, follow, uh, the, the Jews did not follow Moses. Stop insulting Muslims. My friend, you repent. You are the one who insult us. You, this guy, he called me foolish, he called me, etc. Your God call us kuffar, call us najis, call us a filthy, call us animal, and you are talking about insulting, shame on you. Go teach your prophet good manner. Your prophet, he says, if a man he is proud about his father, tell him and go and buy the penis of his father. Do you want to show you the hadith? The one talking about insult. Go and bite the penis of your father. That is the language of your prophet. So you're upset from me for saying idiot? What a potato. Now look here what happened. Muhammad, he went to the Jews. And the Jews asked him a question about the stoning of death to death. Muhammad, he said, bring the Torah. And then it was brought, and then he would draw the cushion from beneath of him. And then he placed the Torah on it, saying, I believe in thee, and him who revealed thee. Do you see it, guys? But look what happened here. Muhammad, he confirmed that he is a fraud. Why? He just said to us that the Jews believe that Hosea is son of Allah. The Christian believe that the Messiah is son of Allah. The Muslim they say the Torah is corrupt. So how Muhammad he swear in a book it says that Hosea is a son of Allah. How he swear by a book is corrupt and he say, I believe in thee and he who revealed thee. The first few verses in the book of Genesis says God and his spirit. God, he has a spirit. God's spirit was upon the, 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 the water. In the first chapter, in, in, the, first, in, in the first books in, in the Bible, it's confirmed that God came as a man. How Muhammad say, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee. And which thee he is talking about, thee, the Torah, which the Jews they have in his time, which is the one is existent and now. What do they say? This hadith is weak? No, it's not. It is good. So this guy is an official idiot and he did burn his prophet starting from agreeing that Jesus was crucified because he said Jesus he died in the year 29 AD and Jesus never knew that he was appointed as God which means he never exists after that as a living person which is totally against the Quran teaching which means this guy is not only destroy Islam he destroyed the whole idea of rejecting Christ's crucifixion Continue, brother. Pray to one. Believe it, Christian friends. It's impossible that Jesus as a prophet, a messenger of Allah, claim that he was God. In all four gospels, 
Jesus honestly confessed that he was a prophet. Remember, in all the four Gospels, Jesus he confirmed that only as a prophet. Did, he, did you did you believe this lie? I mean, already we showed you many verses, and even we quote from the same chapter he chose. We will do the same. Quote for us some chapters. Go ahead, Abdul. For your information. Inform with him. But Jesus himself answered. Exactly, brother. He really was. Okay. A God. Mm -hmm. Or a prophet. All right. Read it carefully, Christian Prince. Okay. According to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 13, verse mm -hmm. number 57, mm -hmm. Mark, chapter number 6, verse number 4. Hold on, hold on. One, 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 one by one. Why, why you don't read for us what it says? Why you jump like, like, a, like a monkey? Read for us Matthew chapter. Guys, Matthew. Matthew 13. Let us see Matthew 13. Give me a second. Everybody will laugh at you and will die laughing at your stupidity. Let me open Matthew 13. <laughs> Are you sure that Jesus he confirmed that he is only a prophet in Matthew number 13? Before I finish, already I have my, my, the, the marks of my fingers all over your body, especially in certain location. Hmm? So, Matthew number 13, what verse? 57. So, you jump 57 verses. To read that verse only, why? What happened? Hmm? Why only verse number 57 is the one you choose? Because you are a fraud. This is the Bible. Jesus here, he taught many parables. And all of them is about him being God. All of them. Why do you speak to them in parable? He answered to them, because it has been given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven is teaching them. The one who's trying to call, first, you know, what was this guy is trying to call? Hold on. We, want the, we said only this guy, uh, the Abdul, who we are getting him busted, he can call. Don't call me Muhammad uh, Jatita, whatever, whatever your name. Only this guy, we are getting him busted. He can call us. Uh, all those parable is about Christ and he how, he how he will judge people and what he will do in his coming and about faith. This person, he went all the way to verse number 57. But if we stop for a second, we will find something this guy he don't want to read for us remember he said matthew 13 right there we go this is matthew 13 okay and he said verse number 57 right okay we will go to verse number 57 but why he don't want to read for us read carefully guys the same chapter he quote for us why he skipped the first 56 verses Verse number 41, the Son of Man will send out his angels. Who, who? His angels. Did just Jesus claim that he is the one who will send his angels? Guys, does it say that? It doesn't say that, CP. Did Jesus say the Son of Man will send his angels is muhammad going to send his angels or those are the angels of allah for sure the muhammad and they will say no those are the angels of allah okay the messiah is a prophet how he can send his angels and why they are his angels 
And what those angels will do? And they will gather out his kingdom. His what? His kingdom. His what, you idiot? His kingdom. His kingdom who? Jesus. All things that offend and those who practice lawlessness and will cast them into the furnace. Who is the one who will send people to hell? Jesus. Who is the one who will gather them? The angels of Jesus. And this potato, he said to us, go to verse number 57. This is the verse you like? 57 only, brother. He said, well, which one? Let me remember. He said, which one? Uh, yeah, 57, he said. I think 57. Brother, you like verse number 57? Eh? <laughs> and by the way, why you choose 57? You are a certified idiot. I mean, you, what 57? You don't even know how to quote it. So do you see how they lie? And notice I am choosing the chapters he chooses. I'm not showing you from the like I did not go to Matthew 12. I did not go to Matthew 11 and Matthew because all of them they confirm that Jesus is God. I went to Matthew 13, the one he chose for us. This is the verse he chose from the chapter he chose, taking all the story of Jesus that he will send his angels, he will send people to hell who don't deserve him, he will punish those who don't deserve punishment. Okay, well, blast. I will make an admin so you take care of them. Oh, I, I, I had you by, by mistake. Uh, hold on. We need more admins. Do you see, guys, how we, we got them busted? Suddenly we find that the same chapter saying that Jesus, he have angels. Uh, maybe we have a, maybe him, I don't know, let's see if it's him. Indonesia, okay. Let us see Indonesia. I hope this is the same guy. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. What a kid. You are filthy. Even you wanna you wanna take the identity of that person. He's an Indonesian. Even you call yourself Indonesian when you are just a Nigerian boy. Idiot. Shame on you. What else, Mister Insan? According to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number thirteen. Hmm. We got you, bastard. Mark chapter number six, verse number four. Look, chapter number four, verse number. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One by one, one by one. Are you trying to copy Isaac and Nick, supposed to? And you are reading. I can see that you have paper in the front of you. Which one? Which one? Number fifty-seven. Okay. Mark chapter number six, verse number four. Stop. Stop. Mark chapter 6 verse number 4 that's that's it he just destroyed us brother he just destroyed us okay let us go to mark chapter 6 and everybody will be laughing at you you idiot I 
I advise you to watch the Pink Panther. Literally, you are him. Mark six. Verse what? Number four. He said, right? Mark seven. Mark six, sorry. Verse number four. So this is the verse you like? Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country. So he's saying Jesus, he's the prophet. Just to show you how donkey you are. Sorry to use the word donkey. Because I am insulting donkeys. I'm literally insulting donkeys. Why you don't read and learn that God himself is a prophet too? In fact, all the prophets are taking their prophecy from one prophet that is God. For all the prophecy come only from God. So Jesus has been told, being called Rabbi, Master, Teacher, Son of Man, Prophet, and God. For all of them is true. And let me school you from your Quran because obviously, as we said many times, you are an idiot. Does the Quran say that Allah is a prophet or not? Prophet is somebody he tell you. Somebody he tell you about something not, nobody knows. Who is that? Allah. Supposedly in the Quran. So if we go in the Quran, yellow page of Muhammad, we will find the following. As an example. Chapter 29, verse number 8, and chapter 31, verse number 15. ثُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرَجَعَكُمْ فَأُنُوبِئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ For me, you come back, and I will tell you what you are doing. What tell you here? أَنْبَأَ Nabi, prophesy to you, will tell you what you are hiding. Prophesy is saying something nobody knows, or something will happen in the future. Your God, Allah, is confirming that he is a prophet. Then to me you return, and I shall tell you what you used to do. What is the word here translation? Umbe. What umbe? This is what Muhammad is called, Nabi. All the prophet of God, they deliver a prophecy from God. They are not really the one who is prophesying. They prophesy in the name of God. And as long as you mention this, Jesus said, I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish this soon, soon. He himself, he mentioned Matthew uh, I think he mentioned Matthew number 7, right? But isn't it in Matthew number 7? It says that Jesus, he said to those who they are prophesying in his name Remember he just said Jesus is a prophet If Jesus is a prophet he cannot make you a prophet. And people cannot prophesy in his name. But the Bible confirms in many places, including the, the, the chapter he quoted, that people prophesy in the name of Jesus.
And the funny they say Jesus never said he's God. Jesus said, chapter 7, Matthew 7. Not everyone says to me, God, God, Lord, Lord. He will enter the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of my Father, but the one who does the will of my Father. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, the Muslim, by the way, the Muslim logic is very accurate. They will say to you, see, he says, if you say to him, God, God, you don't go to heaven. Your idiot doesn't say that. He says, not, not everyone, which means there is an exception. There's people who say, Lord, Lord, will not go to heaven, which means the majority, they will go to heaven. The minority, not. Not everyone knock at my door will enter my house, but not everyone will knock, will not enter. He's saying, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of my heaven. So Jesus saying clearly, those who call me God, God, not all of them, they will go to heaven. But the one, what the one, what is the condition? There's a condition. You call him God, God, and then you have to do something else. The one who do the will of my father. And then look what Jesus said. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, God, God, have we, have we not prophesied in the name? Prophesied in the name of who? Of the name of a Christ. So in the name of a Christ, they prophesied. How you can prophesy in the name of Christ unless he is God? You prophesy only in the name of God. You don't prophesy in the name of a man. That is a big sin. Imagine Christian, they say to me, Christian Prince, we prophesy in your name. If I do so, that means I'm claiming to be God. It's obvious. And as long as you mention Mark chapter 6, as you see in the screen, verse number 4, why you will not read for us Mark chapter 6, verse number 7? What is the problem there? Why only you like 4? Let us see 7. Hmm? Shall we? Read carefully. And he called the 12 to himself, 12 who? Disciple. And began to send them out two by two. And gave them the power over a clean and a clean spirit. Who is the one who gave them the power? The followers of Muhammad. Do you see the liar, your teacher, what he said to you? He said to you, Jesus, he said he is a prophet. And I'm using the same chapter he called, nothing else. Jesus, he called his 12 disciples. And he began to send them two by two. And he gave them the power over any clean spirit. Can Muhammad give a power over any clean spirit? No. Muhammad himself, he have a dirty spirit and we can prove it. If we go right now in the hadith, we will find that Muhammad claimed that the devil was commanding him. Is that right? Huh? Read. This is Sahih Hadith. Muhammad said, There is none amongst you whom is not attached to from the amongst the jinn, the devil. The companion said, Allah Messenger, with you too? Upon that he said, Yes, but Allah he helped me against him, so I am safe from his hands and he does not command me but for good did muhammad just confess that he received command from the devil yes he did so look what happened in mark 6 verse number 7 
The Messiah gave them power over the any clean spirit, demon, evil spirit, over the devil. Muhammad, he received command from the devil. And he claimed that the devil gave him good command. Like what? Muhammad make a cheese? Suddenly the devil became a good guy. Ah, this devil converted to Islam maybe. So look how they lie. Muhammad here confirmed that the one who can help you against evil spirit is Allah. And he have no authority over them. And that's why he says, Allah help me. Because if he can, you will not need the help of Allah. Do I agree? In Mark 6, verse number 7, the Messiah, he gave command and he gave authority. He ordered them to go and he gave them the power. How he can transfer a power of God? Let us say God gave Jesus the power over demon. Let us say for sake of argument. But can Jesus give his power to somebody else? Does mean Jesus have the authority to give power? And you cannot give, number two, power if you don't have. And number three, you cannot give something it is not yours. If we continue reading, he commanded them to take nothing of the journey expect their stuff, right? And he told them like he gave them advice, etc. So, the, so those those uh, 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 disciples they start cleaning the people from evil spirit. If you go to verse number twelve, look what it happened. So they went. Now Jesus he command them and he gave them the authority, but maybe they cannot do it because I can say, okay, I command you, I'll give you the power over the evil spirit over demon. Were they able to do so? Read carefully in verse number twelve. So they went out and preached to the people that they should repent and they cast out many demon, demons. Do you see it? Not only that, and anointed with oil, many who were sick and healed them. The coward, the potato said, Jesus in Mark 6 confirmed that he is a prophet. Do you see it? Do you see how we spank them with no mercy? The same mark. I would not even use different chapter. The same chapter you chose. Give us one more. Look, chapter number four, verse number twenty-four. Look, 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 chapter four. Are you sure, brother? Are you sure you want me to go to Luke chapter four? I will go to Luke chapter 4 and every Muslim will die laughing at you. I never saw a Muslim. He is, I mean, he's a qualified to be, to be called a smart really. Otherwise, I, there's no way. I mean, how you believe in God, he will give you women, they have a big uh, butt to be God. There's no way. So if we go to Mark, chapter 4 as he said what we will find in mark chapter 4 he said go to mark chapter 4 verse number 24 okay question why you jump all the chapter look here it says jesus is being filled with the holy spirit that will not be good news for the muslims look here Verse number three, the devil came to him and said, if you are the son of God, what, what, what? If you are the son of God, they say to you, there's Jesus, another son of God. Trent is false. Jesus never said he is. <laughs> and look what Jesus said to the devil. The devil said to him, if you are son of God, command this stone to become a bread. So what does son of God mean? What we understand from the word Son of God, Christians, 
Muslims, listen carefully. The devil is not asking him to sing a song. If you are the son of God, you can do this. What is that? Command this stone to become a bread. Do you see it, people? Do you see it? So even the devil, he understand very well that Jesus, he can command the stones and make them bread. Anything he say be is going to be. What Jesus said to him? Did he say, I am not son of God? No. Jesus said to him, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the whole idea, the shaitan, the Satan, trying to make Jesus do something he asked him for. This is what tempting here means. Like Muslim, they say to you, the shaitan is tempting Jesus. The temptation is asking him to do things, and Jesus is not approving his request. This is what tempting me. He did not succeed, as you say. And then the devil, he took him. So the liar, he took, he, 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 he jumped. All this amazing chapter, which are proving that Jesus is God and Jesus is Son of God, he didn't want to read it because that will prove that he is a fraud. Satan is trying to tempt Jesus, what Jesus said to him. It has been said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Don't call me, please, unless they are the guy who I am exposing. What's wrong with people? Why nobody listen? We open Skype, so maybe this poor guy, he will have a voice. And I keep receiving calls from people they have nothing to do with this. Why you lie, my friend? Aren't you ashamed of yourself in this age to be a liar? If we go in the same chapter, hmm, just go down a little bit, what we will see? Surprise, surprise! What? Surprise, surprise! Jesus cast, cast out an any clean spirit. Remember, he is the one, this idiot, he is the one who chose this chapter to prove that Jesus is not God. Then he went down, who? The Messiah, out of the city of Galilee. And he was teaching them on the Sabbath. And they were astonished with his teaching, for his word was author with, with authority. Now, in the synagogue, there was a man who had a spirit of any clean demon, and he cried out with loud voice, saying, Listen carefully, Muhammadan, Mr. Insan the fool, listen carefully. What the demon was saying to Jesus, let us alone. Let us alone. We have that what we have, what, what have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth. Did you become to destroy us? I know you who you are, the Holy One of God. <laughs> who you are? The Holy One of God. Who is saying that? The demon. Do, did you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. How many things this demon confirm in one statement? That Jesus is holy and he is the one of God. And no man is holy, my friend. All men are sinners. The Bible confirmed that. Even Muhammad said, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Remember, 
Jesus is not the son of Adam, have no father. Correct? Even in the cult of Islam. Muhammad confirmed, every son of Adam is a sinner. And that now makes sense. Why Jesus in Islam? is not the son of Adam. That explains a lot, right? There is a reason Jesus is not the son of Adam. He is the only one is born, which means his son, but not son of Adam. For Muhammad the fool, he confirmed to us that every son of Adam is a sinner. And Jesus is not the son of any Adam. Do you see it, people? Shall we continue? Or we are, we, the guy is dead already. I mean, I don't know. Shall, shall we continue? Because all the verses he gave us, one by one, every chapter he gave us is a proof that Jesus is God. I mean, this guy is an official idiot. He does not know what he's talking about. Shall we continue? I apologize if I am showing you extra stuff, but you know, for me, I cannot, you know, it's, uh, when I start doing this, I'm not in control of myself. Sorry. The Lord, He used me to get them busted. Ideas come from my head from everywhere. All prove to us one thing that Christ is God. Every son of Adam commits sin. Did Jesus commit sin? No. Chapter 19, verse 19 in the Quran. The angels came to Mary, uh, the spirit actually, said to her, I am here to give you the glad tidings of the whole of the news of our holy son. Of what? News of a holy son. If Jesus is the Holy Son, he is the Holy Son of who? Huh? It is in your Quran. Do you see it? And there is no way Jesus is called holy in the Quran by mistake unless he is holy. Is Muhammad holy? Absolutely not. The Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big fraud. How we confirm that? I remember we are using the Quran, so they cannot say, Oh, this is weak hadith. Chapter 48, verse number 2. May Allah. Chapter 48, verse number 2. That Allah may forgive you, your son, of the past and the future. And here you notice that Allah cannot forgive sin. Because he's saying me. But we can show you tons of verses Jesus saying your sin is forgiven. And yet the idiot they say to us, show us one verse Jesus saying he's God. Who, who is the one who can forgive sin? The Quran answer. Not only the Quran says Muhammad is a sinner and Allah giving a free license for sin in the past and the future as you see in the verse. The Quran confirm that only Allah forgive sin. Huh? Who? All those verses saying Allah 
is the one who forgives sin. Look, look how many. Huh? So how Jesus forgives sin? Only Allah, He forgives sin. The forgiver of sin. So how Jesus forgives sin? Who gave him that authority? Do prophet have authority to forgive sin? Muslims, are you listening? Or you are not? Deaf, blind, who cannot see? Maybe a Muslim he will say, well, this verse doesn't confirm that only Allah he forgives sin. Maybe Muhammad he forgives sin. No. See, all those verses confirm the same. All of them. We can show you endless verses, but let us finish this. Okay, so now we stop with Luke 24 and we get your busted from Luke. What else? And John chapter number 4, verse number 44. Ah, he's trying like he's remembering, supposed to. It's written in front of you on the screen, you idiot. John chapter 4, verse number 44. Are you sure? Okay, I will go to John. I mean, what I can do? You put me in the corner now. John, chapter 4. Okay. What we can do? You got me busted. He said John number 4, right? Verse number 44. Okay, so you skip the first 44 verses. Why? What's wrong with verse number 1, verse number 2, verse number 3, verse number 4? John 4, 44, right away from John 4 to 44. Ah, Muslims are the best jumpers. Do you see in verse number 1 here, there's the number is, it says here, Therefore, when the Lord, the Lord he knew the Pharisees, he had heard, they had heard, that Jesus made baptize some disciple. The Lord, the Lord, you see the Lord? From the beginning, it says that he is the Lord. Then, uh, let us go a little bit. I like it, you know, when they say, unbelievable. Let us go to 44 right away because like the video became so long okay what is 44 so to make them happy hmm. so when he came so for jesus he testified that the prophet has no honor in his own country so do you allow me please to read for you just uh, verses before is that okay please if you don't mind your majesty Verse number 42 said, When they said to the women, Now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we, knew, we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. So, Jesus saying there is no respect for a prophet in his own land. 
in the same time he is saying he is son of God he forgives sin he is the savior of the world he is the resurrection he is the light he is the alpha he is the omega and he said it clearly I am the living God so why are you caught only for 44 because this is the only one you like it This is the only one you like. The rest you don't like them. They are they are bad for you. Bad news. Actually, in verse, if you continue reading, I advise the Muslim to read. Jesus here, look at this. In verse number 46, so Jesus come again to Cana of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. I mean, look at this Jesus, man. He is a prophet, but yet he can resurrect from the death a living being he is a prophet but he can make the water wine he is a prophet he can create from the mud the bird he is a prophet he can make the blind see he is a prophet and he can tell you even what you hide in your houses how he knew that Jesus can tell you what you have in your houses the Quran confirmed that but before we go to the Quran this verse here confirmed that too Jesus knew the unseen how is that? When the man he came, this nobleman, the official, the high rank person in the society, he came to him and he asked him to heal his son. His son is dying. Look what Jesus said to him. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see sign and wonder, you will not, or you will by no means believe so what does that mean but but the guy he did not ask him about believing or not he's asking him to heal his son but jesus knew that this person he don't want to believe he want only to heal his son that's all what he want but he said to him Unless you see the sign and the wonder, my wonder, you will not believe. And look what happened. The Messiah said to him, Go and your son will live. The man, he said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. This is all that he's worried about. Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your son lives. So the man believed the word of Jesus, spoke to him. He did not believe in him as God yet. He just believed that his son will live and he went in his way and as he was now going down he met his servant and he told him saying your son lives that's what the servant saying to him the good news your son is alive then he inquired them to know the hour when he got better this man who i know okay my son lived maybe he lived by himself maybe it happened he came became healthy but he want to know what hour. Why? Let us see why. So he inquired. Of them, the hour when he got better. And they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was the same hour which Jesus said to him, your son lives and he himself believed and his whole family but remember jesus said to him you will not believe unless you see the wonder so jesus here he told him the unseen now speaking about the unseen you will see the quran confirm that jesus knew the unseen but in the same time the quran said no one knows the unseen save Allah. <clears throat> uh, read with me, please. I'm sorry for those who will translate the video. This will be will became really long. I apologize, but what I can do. We will spank him one for, for good, and I'm not going to talk about him anymore. 
he just got Muhammad busted anyway you see we speak to you we burn you you are burn card you are useless look what the Quran said and appoint him uh, between two brackets a messenger to the children of Israel to the Messiah was sent to the children of Israel with this message between two brackets I have come to you Jesus saying with the sign of your Lord this is a sign from Allah my friend not from Jesus but look what happened the stupidity of the writer of the Quran I make for you out of the clay as it were a figure of a bird so how it's a sign from Allah and yet you are the one saying I not only I make the clay and I breathe into it you see in translation he didn't say I but in fact it says in Arabic and I and I breathe into it if you change the translation you will see how the I appear so I make the clay I breathe into it let us change the translation just to show you how the Muslim they play with the translation you cannot trust a Muslim translation never I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I designed to you out of a clay as it were a figure of a bird and they breathe into it who is breathing I it and it became a bird and then they say by Allah leave but he is the one who breathed that's mean the breath of Jesus giving life that's mean if Allah gave him the leave he gave him the power of a creation and the power of life to give life and this is how Allah created Adam he breathed into Adam as a mud and the mud became a man and this is how Jesus he created from the mud the bird he breathed into the mud which is in the figure of a bird and he became a bird living bird which means right now as we speak there's a living bird in the sky made by Jesus if we check under the wings of the bird it says not made in China not made by Allah it's made by Jesus and who says so the Quran and I heal if Allah heal Jesus should not say I heal I heal the one who is born blind and the leper and I bring the dead and then they will say by the name of Allah but he just said I bring the dead if this is a miracle of Allah you did not bring the dead if Allah is the one who made the blind see, you did not make the blind see. So how do you say I? But look here what happened. Not only you do all those things, and I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your horse in your houses. How Jesus can tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses? How that can be? that is impossible in the same time while well, the Quran confirmed that Jesus he knew the unseen to the point I mean imagine if somebody says to him right away okay tell me what I ate now what I have in my house, what I have in my clothes, what I have in my bedroom. Jesus will give him the answer right away. How that can be? Allah will tell him. What he will do? He will send Jibreel? Because Jibreel himself, he didn't know. Only Allah knows, supposedly. Allah will speak to Jesus in the private form. In chapter 6, verse number 59, it says, that Allah he have the keys of the unseen only but look what happened while well, the Quran in chapter 3 verse number 49 confirmed that Jesus he tell you what you had in your houses which mean what you think what you did what you do in secret Muhammad he confirmed that he cannot do that Look what Muhammad the idiot said. Uh, 
Uh, this search engine is in is a stupid uh, chapter seven. Let us go to chapter seven. Uh, hold on. Remember the Quran confirmed that Jesus he knew the unseen. All right. Look what Muhammad he say about himself. Allah said to Muhammad, say, tell them this, I possess no power of benefit or hurt to myself except as Allah will. If I had knowledge of the ghaib, what is ghaib mean in Arabic, and seen, I should have secured for myself the abundance of the worth. And here Muhammad is showing us our, 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 our stupidity, because why if you are a prophet of God, you want to take advantage of the unseen and take wealth, take money for his evil. And no evil should have touched me. So Muhammad saying, if I know the unseen, I can avoid the evil. I am but a warner. He's just a warner. He do nothing, he do not know the unseen. Okay, hold on. So how would Jesus tell you the unseen? How would Jesus tell you what you had in your houses? Remember the Muhammadan they claim that Jesus is not equal to Muhammad. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. So how the greatest prophet do not know the unseen? And Jesus, he knew the unseen. Are you listening, people? Do you see how we tortured their claim? How we tortured Allah in his book, how we prove even from their funny, stupid book that Jesus is God. Why Allah is telling Jesus what they hide in their houses? Isn't it enough that he can make the dead alive? Isn't it enough he can make the blind see? Isn't it enough that he can make from the mud the bread? In the top of the, he healed the leper. In the top of that, he will tell you what you had in your houses. How come Muhammad don't have any of those? Why? Do you ask yourself, Muslims, why? For Muhammad is a fraud. Why Muhammad don't have one of them? For he is a fraud. And until now, each chapter of this idiot he gave us, we found in the same chapter, a proof that Jesus is God. Did we? Yes, we did. I know that I'm, you know, things is getting late. I mean, I wanted to make this video shorter so the Christians who will uh, translate will not take them out of work. This will take out of work. I apologize, but I have to. Jesus said to them, "A prophet is respected everywhere." except in his hometown mm. and by his own family mm. it means it means that he is only a prophet we show you that in the quran it says allah is a prophet too ignorance and stupidity is amazing are you done not god mm. hopeful mm. you can realize your foolishness and mistakes uh, I just hold on I the, the uh, Allah he just touched me and I realized my foolishness uh, my friend I just discover that uh, uh, if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and if a woman have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and you are talking about foolishness I just discover that your prophet was kissing a black stone and Omar al-Khattab he said this stone is useless So why Muhammad was kissing it? And you are talking about foolishness? Or you will say Umar al-Khattab is an idiot? I know that you are a stone who can neither benefit anyone nor harm anyone had not I had, had I not seen Allah Messenger kissing you, I would not 
have kissed you. Do you know what this is does? Explain that Muhammad is a fraud. Umar al-Khattab, he confirmed that this is a stupid behavior and this is a useless stone. But look, Muhammad, in different hadith, he said that the black stone is going to have eyes in the judgment day. So either Umar is a liar or Muhammad is a liar. Black stone kisses people. You ask the Muslims, I remember once I went to a Muslim website and I chat with them. I said, why the prophet, he kissed the black stone? They said, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? They said, because he kissed it. <laughs> Pagan. Look what Muhammad, he said. About the black stone. That the black stone is going to witness for you. Let us see, hold on. I don't like to mention something without uh, giving the proofs and the reference because you know them. They will say it doesn't say that, CB. And now what they will say, Umar al-Khattab is an idiot. Read carefully what Muhammad is said. You pagan believe in a stone, and Muhammad even, he said in different hadith, the black stone is the right hand of Allah. Read carefully. The messenger of Allah said, the black stone by Allah, he swear by Allah, the guy is very sure, will raise, Allah will raise in the day of resurrection with two eyes, by which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with testifying to whomever touch it in truth but Omar he said this is used as a stone Muhammad he said no this is not used as a stone Allah will resurrect it as if it's a human being which is funny it's going to have eyes I don't know what the eyes for it's going to have tongues I don't know what the tongue for Look like the stone cannot speak without tongue. And it's going to witness. But Omar, he said it clearly, I know you are useless. So here you need to remember that Islam is a very stupid cult. Contradict itself non-stop. Garbage in, garbage out. So my friends, my family, my brothers, my sisters, my beloved, Indonesian Muslims we love you we love you from all our heart your prophet is a fraud and they are defending him by being a fraud lying to you as you see everything this guy he just said we showed you from his own chapters the one he chose for us that is lying I did not even choose something else So how it can be that the chapters he chose for us to prove that Jesus is not God is the same chapters we use to prove that Jesus is God. How easy it is to prove it then that you choose what you choose and from what you've chosen, we got you busted. This was the end of the video and he is calling me a foolish. You are a foolish man, my friend, who believe that God will make your private part hard. You are foolish to believe in such a garbage. How in the world even you can accept such a thing? And you are talking about foolishness? God who promised me a penis will not break. Well, I hope your penis will function, my friend, in the heaven of Allah. Otherwise, it's going to be embarrassing. 
Muhammad is said there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two of them from the Huris, and 70 from the inheritance of the hell of fire. Why? Who are those who they are inherited from hellfire? Prostitute. How we know that? Look. Whom all will have desirable front passages. Have you ever heard of a God? He will import to you women from hell, which means they are bad women. And what is good about them? They have nice vagina and nice breasts. And have you ever heard of a God? He promised you and he will not have a male member that will never become a flaccid, i.e. soft limp. And you are talking about foolishness, you idiot. Aren't you ashamed of your age to worship a God who will make your penis a penis to sleep with women coming from hell? Shame on you. I will be back. I'm not done. But because we have to stop. I mean, I have to stop, right? So you guys, Indonesian people can translate. And again, we love Indonesian people. Muslims, Christian, doesn't matter. We love them. But we are angry from lies. I call names as idiot because he is. Liar, he is a liar. Fraud, he is a fraud. For anyone who misquote and lie, he is lying. And guess what? By the help of those people, millions of Indonesians, they will leave Islam. Trust me, this video will be priceless. This video alone is enough to make anyone leave the stupid cult of Muhammad. The God who do not know which one he created first, the stars or the trees. The mountains or the stars. The God who think that women have testicles and sperm of women coming from their ribs, but women have no sperm and there's nothing come from the ribs. Thank you very much for being here. If I can come back later, because I don't think I'm asleep right now, even though it's getting late. If I can come back, I will. you will be notified. Please subscribe, join our channel, and download the video immediately, because I don't keep videos on my channel. And the reason I don't keep them, many reasons. One of them, I want my videos to be yours. I want you to be part of this mission. I want you to receive the blessing of the Lord for making somebody leave the cult of Islam and accepting the Messiah. And guess what? The Lord one day will ask you what you did. How many people you brought for me? If you pause the video, even though it's made by me, taught by me, but there's somebody because of the video you posted, it is you who brought this person to Christ. It is you who saved the life of this person, not me. So my friend, let us love the Muslim Indonesian. They need our help. They've been deceived. They've been fooled. They've been lied to. They're victims. We love them. Love those who hate you. Pray for them. Bless your enemy. We are the followers of the living word of God, Christ, the Messiah. The Messiah, my friend, is a prophet, yes. For he prophesy, but God prophesy first before all prophets. The Messiah is the word of God, yes, for the word of God is eternal. Before all prophets, a man is exist. The Messiah is the living, walking, talking, living word of God. The Messiah, when he said, I am the Alpha, you need to ask yourself how that can be. When he said, I am the Omega, how that can be? When he said, I am the truth, how that can be? God is the truth. No man is the truth. I am not the truth. I am no one. So either the Messiah is saying that he is the truth, which is not true, which make him God, or you have to accept that the Messiah is saying he is the truth and he is God. 
those fools are a bunch of fools. This is why they don't dare to call us. This is why we receive calls only from the idiot who do know nothing about Islam. But the real scholars don't dare. They are intimidated. They will lose their career. They will lose their job. They will be homeless. The money they are making, nobody will give it to them after they debate me. And this is their fear. Thank you everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you. And always you would like to be updated, you can subscribe to our Patreon. And by the way, to be a Patreon, you don't have to donate. You see, we I serve the poor before the rich. We serve the poor before the rich. So when you subscribe to Patreon, it's just to be updated about our coming video. You don't have to donate. The Lord is my provider and God is good. We have that page there so you can be updated in when we have a live streaming join us and be part of it thank you very much may the lord bless you and by the way for indonesian i have my book made for you for free in your language download it i'm sure the one who will download my video they will post the link for you in the indonesian language a gift from me for my beloved indonesian muslims and christians i love you and we want to save you and we are sent to you by our Lord the Messiah as a rescue mission. We will never hate you. We will never harm you. We will never teach violence against you. For we are following the true Messiah. And you are following the harmful one. The bloody one. The killer. And you know the rest of the names. Thank you, God bless you, and I will see you again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.